In today's video, I'm going to show you 10 new VR games coming in 2024 that I think you all should be excited about. As always, if you enjoy this video, please remember to leave a like and subscribe for VR content. First up on the list is the freshly announced Metal Hell Singer VR and it's looking to be a violent rhythm based FPS. The flat version was extremely well received to critical acclaim and is now getting the VR treatment. In Metal Hellsinger, you step into the body of a half-demon hellbent on vengeance with an arsenal of hell-based weapons, where you must kill to the beat of heavy metal music from some really big artists such as System of a Down and more. It'll be coming to all VR platforms, but I'm assuming the gameplay we're seeing here is PC VR. As a fan of Pistol Whip, this looks to have a real addictive gameplay loop, but the art style is looking much more like something I would enjoy. The VR version has all the full campaign from the flat version, a tournament mode, and more. Next on the list is Metro Awakening VR and is easily one of the most anticipated VR first person shooters coming this year. It's a brand new story based in the Metro series which I'm really pleased about because I've personally completed all the others and I've always wanted a proper VR experience set in this world. The game is set in the year of 2028 and you're one of the many survivors of a nuclear war and live in the subways underneath Moscow. You play a character called Sadar who has to brave the darkness of the Metro. Avoid deadly radiation and the masses of mutants in the search for your wife and the medication to save her. Now we've been looking forward to seeing what Virgo Games and Deep Silver were going to come up with when they announced their alliance and I'm really pleased this is the first of at least five games they're planning to do in VR together. Next up we have Behemoth and I think it's safe to say this is probably the top of everyone's most anticipated VR games list. Coming from the creators of The Walking Dead, Saints and Sinners, it's hard not to be excited thinking about the possibilities of how exactly Behemoth is going to play. It looks to be Skydance's take on the legendary Shadow of the Colossus, which is one of my favourite games of all time, but with an emphasis on combat and survival. You must take on the role of a diseased wanderer and overcome dangerous environments, deadly warriors and towering behemoths. And I really can't wait to get my hands on this one. Hopefully we're going to see some gameplay soon. The end comes for you. Do not yield. Formula One 2024 is coming only to PC VR, which is a huge blow for PSVR 2 owners, since we already know after Gran Turismo 7 that the system is well up to the task of bringing Formula One to the PlayStation headset. But in the meantime, as a PC VR user, I'm really excited to check this out, and I'm hoping this will be a less painful experience than it was in 2023. It was pretty hard for many PC VR users to get a decent experience, as the VR version of the game seemed to be tacked on at the last minute and not very well optimized. But when you did get it running well, it was one of the best racing experiences I've had on PC VR. Nothing else really captures that sense of speed and stress that the Formula One can. Next up we have Arkan Age. It's a VR action adventure game set in the Biochasm, a transformed fantasy world created by the Grand Arborist. This is from the developer behind Shadow Legend, which was one of the first VR games that really had decent sword fighting interactions. You will engage in full physics combat using Arcanite infused swords and guns and fully explore the densely filled environments under siege by Hyperion's neural corruption. It's coming to PC VR and PSVR 2 and the developers have recently confirmed that eye tracking and dynamic foveated rendering is coming to PSVR 2, meaning we can expect some great visuals on all platforms. At number 6 we have Contractor Showdown that probably doesn't need much introduction since many of you have hopefully taken part in alpha and beta testing which is actually live right now. I'll leave a link in the description to the discord in case you haven't played but it's an open beta. And the game is going from strength to strength. It is really at the moment the greatest battle royale game I've ever played in or out of VR. There's tons of equipment and loadout options and an ever increasing player count that currently stands at 60. It's coming to PC VR and Quest but it's also coming to PSVR 2 later down the line. The developers are definitely making all the right moves with this one and I expect it to be one of the biggest sellers ever in VR when it releases at the end of April. Next on the list we have Geronimo, it's an immersive tactical close quarters battle shooter built for virtual reality that depicts a modern day world in which special forces operators are called to implement unconventional operations as members of elite teams. The game features procedurally generated environments, advanced AI and more.
Next up, we have New Matter VR. It's a new VR horror game that I've heard very little chatter about online, but it's looking fantastic. You play a detective investigating the disappearance and murders of the tenants inside Cloverhill Apartments. You must unravel the truth that lies within and recover your fragmented memories, or succumb to the horrors that lurk within the shadows within this sinister blend of survival and psychological horror. Super excited to check this one out. Next is The Burst. It's a high-speed FPS with intense movement and gunplay. The story takes place on a desert prison planet where convicts are preparing for rebellion. You are sent in to eliminate the infamous warlord and must use everything at your disposal to restore order and escape. Now you could argue, what does this game have say over a game like Stride Fates? To which I would say, not much. Apart from a very cool looking post-apocalypse Mad Max sci-fi look and the action and enemies look a lot more varied. Definitely looking forward to finding out more about this as the year progresses. Next up from the makers of Ghosts of Tabor, which on its own is a reason to get excited, comes Grim. It's a multiplayer survival game where you must immerse yourself in the Red Wasteland, where survival is not just a choice, but a grueling battle against nature and other desperate players, which is similar to the very popular online game Rust. You must gather resources, craft, and build your base all to stay alive. It's obviously PvP, but it's also got PvE, including dangerous wildlife and AI. This one could be pretty huge when it releases. And last up on the list, we have VRSO Bare Knuckle Fighting. Now, I normally wouldn't care about a game like this, but the more I've learned about it, the more interesting it's becoming. For example, all the locations you fight are actually real. The developers are using photogeometry to bring environments to life. You face off against 16 unique fighters, and you have to hone your skills in detailed training, and then you can challenge players worldwide online. There's also single player in the concept of a tournament with a backstory, where the player will have to beat 16 players to become the champion of the VRSO League. Each opponent has different skills and a fighting style, and thus possess a different level of difficulty. Also, all the movements are captured with motion capture technology, meaning this is all lining up to possibly be a really good fighting experience in VR. So there it is. There's 10 new VR games coming in 2024. Thank you ever so much for watching. As always, remember to let me know what you're excited for down in the comments, and if there's any games I've left out. Also, be sure to check out this video, which I did earlier this year, featuring another 10 new VR games coming in 2024. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.